crack house escape is the achievement, you're gonna wanna find all 10 notebooks and 4 exits, beating the game normally. Find a so solitaire achievement, you're gonna wanna find Mr. Beast's credit card. Once you find it, go find him. He'll see you, and he's gonna want his credit card back. For the no toilet needed achievement, you're gonna wanna find the monkeyinator. Once you find it, and you have to use the bathroom, just use it to poop on the floor. To get that cheating death achievement, you're gonna wanna find Pinto Beans with a bee soda on hand. Once he shoots, just shoot your bee soda back to cancel it out. To unlock pizza mode, all you gotta do is beat story mode. And once you beat story mode, just hop on in and complete it. It's like a speed run of the normal mode. Doesn't matter if you don't get the best rank, all you gotta do is beat it. To get the beast aside and the passive beast achievement, you're gonna wanna find a Glock. It'll be in one of two classrooms. If you're doing the beast aside one, you're gonna want another Glock with you. After that, you're gonna steal Mr. Beast's credit card and wait for him to show up. Once he gets mad at you, shoot him with the Glock. For the beast aside achievement, you're gonna want to pull your Glock out of your items. After an attack, you're gonna want to go to the sword icon and shoot him. For the passive beast achievement, you're gonna want healables like B soda that doubles your HP and zesty bars that heals you all the way. After that, you're gonna want to go to the act tab and discuss with him. After it's full, spare him. For the Can You Pet The Dog achievement, we're gonna wanna go left of spawn and go straight till you see a poster on the right side. When you go in, you'll see the dog. Just press E to pet him. For And So It Begins, you're gonna go right of spawn with a hammer. As soon as you see the bathroom on the right, go inside and open the blinds by pressing E on them. After that, just smash the window. Once you're inside, just walk straight forward to get the achievement. For the pet that dog achievement, you're gonna wanna go back to where the dog is but in Atlas mode on your phone. When you pet him, he'll be a little strange. For Rowdy's Crack House the Metal Wars, you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing with the other objective task screen. Ditch your hammer, and open the window, and then walk straight forward, and you'll get the achievement. For the now I'm getting paid cash with Alice, achievement, you're gonna wanna get $100 in Atlas mode. For the not today chip flow achievement, you're gonna wanna go left of spawn and go up until you see an opening outside. Go to the purple ATM and you're gonna wanna buy the Monopoly reverse card. Now you're gonna wanna go left of spawn again into the school faculty only. Once you go inside, you go through the other one and you'll see the get out of jail card. When you commit a crime and Shipplug sees you nearby, just pull it out in front of him. By the Tretian achievement, you're gonna wanna grab the Monkeyinator. Once you have the Monkeyinator, go outside and destroy a tree. All you gotta do is walk into it. So get the Fire! Achievement, you're gonna wanna customize your character, go to hair and make him bald. After that, just go to story mode and play it normally and beat it. To get the wealth, 
achievement, you're gonna wanna grab a bunch of zesty bars and eat them at once while you have to poop. So you get that dual inconvenience achievement, you're gonna wanna beat story mode. Once you beat story mode, you unlock double trouble. Just gotta beat double trouble and then you'll get the achievement. So get the we do a bit of pooping achievement, you're just gonna wanna poop 25 times. To unlock, and now it really begins, you're gonna wanna go back to the objective tasks. The hints on the side is what you have to do. Once completed, go back and it'll make you restart your game. For the Neil achievement, you're gonna wanna go back to your objective tasks. So once the game restarts, when you click enter, it'll get you in this cutscene. It will now display that there's a mystery door. The mystery door is in the left hallway, right to the cafeteria. It will tell you you need to collect five more keys. The keys are scattered around the school. When you get all the keys, walk through the mystery door. When it brings you here, just walk into Neil's office and wait for him to get done speaking. After he's done speaking, go back through the exit. After your game crashes and you reopen it, it'll show up in Neil mode. For the early beast in the fading buck achievement, you're gonna wanna go to the purple ATM and buy the golden quarter. For the early beast achievement, when it spawns, grab the gold quarter less than a second after it spawns. For the fading buck achievement, grab the gold quarter right before it fades away. So I get the next wave is digital achievement, convert $2,000 into Ethereum for the first time. For that overcharge achievement, you're gonna want to max out everything that uses money in the Ethereum ATM. To get the achievement, you're gonna need to find an iPhone, a hammer, and an ender pearl. Once you get all the items, go to the jail zone next to detention. With the items you collected, Crypto Luigi will put Atlas Earth on your phone. And just select the Atlas Earth app on your phone. And then press E once on the teleporter. Now you have access to Atlas mode. To get the uh, battle with yourself achievement, you're gonna wanna beat Neo in another save file. Then come back to the save file you're trying to get the achievement in, and go back to Neo's house. Behind your pod will be the corrupted player boss. Once you beat him and get to this room, go forward to interact with the player. After the cutscene, you'll get the achievement. To get the Breaker of Space achievement, you're gonna wanna grab Mr. Beast's credit card right before going into the FNF minigame. There are two ways you can complete this achievement. There's the easy way, without getting caught with the credit card, or if Mr. Beast catches you before you get to the FNF minigame, it makes you play a 9-key song from FNF.
To get the revival of the Beast achievement, you're gonna need to kill Mr. Beast in Alice mode. Once done, you're gonna need to find four redstone torches scattered around the map. They sound like this! Once you find them all, go to Mr. Meat's room and go down his basement. From there, right click on the altar with the redstone torches. And now you revived Mr. Beast. Heh <laughs> great job. For the end achievement, you have to beat Neil mode and defeat his three phases. Normal. I'll give you two options. The first, we end this right here, right now. And the second, <laughs> I lied about the second option. Phase two. Let's end this here and now, motherfucker. After you beat all of Neil's phases, you'll get the achievement and be sent here. I provide the map to help me with this normal phase. The other two, you're all on your own. For the Potato Trouble achievement, you need to have beaten Neil on the same save file. Then, you're gonna need to go back to the objective tasks. Wait for it to stop talking and it'll give you a memory. Walk outside and you'll see a sign. Give him the memory by walking up to him. After his dialogue, he'll transform back into Neo. But when this happens, the mystery girl will appear again. You're gonna need to find the five keys again. After finding the five strange keys this time, it will teleport you to a secret room. And here, go up to the bookshelf and grab a tape out, then put it into the player. After three tapes, a secret door will show. Walk through the door and down the long hallway to get teleported to Neil's room. <laughs> when you turn around, you'll see a sign. It'll then change your game to a cursed version of Roddy's. Click a sign mode and then beat him. Hello, it is me, Sean. Do you want to buy my potatoes? This phase is exactly the same as Neil's normal phase. Ah! Okay, okay, you did not buy my potatoes? That is a sin and I am going to kill you now. I will think I am going to murder you. So you should probably start running. He will then convert into Neil's first phase. After beating his first phase, there will be a party in the principal's office. They will give you a portal gun that you'll have to use on a balls poster. When you use it, walk in to go to the developer room. When you get there, go to the door on your left and then go inside the computer. In Rowdy's stuff, you'll see a passcode for the door. Use the passcode for the door at the end of the hallway and then go inside. When you're inside, go to the other door and walk down the hallway. When you go inside, you'll see Neil, and then you'll get the achievement. To get the achievement, you're gonna wanna get 10 Ethereum needed to free Crypto Luigi. To get the Ethereum funded Uber charge, you need to double max out everything on the Ethereum ATM. For the thanks but already got it covered achievement, you're gonna need to double max out your gun before beating phase 2. For that Crypto Crackdown achievement, you're gonna need to kill Crypto Luigi. You can go back to his cell when you have 10 or more Ethereum. Once all the cutscenes and dialogue is done, you'll need to go to the cafeteria. Uh, 
party to go inside the elevator, you can upgrade your gun to defeat Crypto Luigi with your Ethereum and money. Crypto Luigi has three phases. Phase 1. Phase 2. Phase 3. For the correct out achievement, you need to get a save file with all six badges listed below. I would say the whole editing, putting clips together, it took about like 48 hours or more. I mean, it's literally 6.55 in the morning right now. The game took about 12 hours or more with cheats to get them all, and that's saying something. I was just trying to get the whole video together. I'm gonna go to sleep, and tomorrow I'm gonna actually play the game.